In McDowell County, West Virginia, where coal was once king, there are lots of mountain springs. What makes this one so good is Berlin Cooper can drive right up to it. He fills these jugs once or twice a week because back at home, their well has gone bad. What does it smell like? Rotten eggs. <laughs> really? Mm hmm And that's the water that's coming out of your well? It's the water coming out of my well. Yeah. The Coopers suspect nearby natural gas drilling. That's the problem. There's no good water. Up on Bradshaw Mountain, the Stacys have to rely on water from the sky. Burl built this system himself. You're dependent on the rain. Yeah. And it doesn't cool. rain all the time. No, we don't. They can't drink it, so they also buy bottled. How much do you end up paying for water a month? Do you know? I'd say you get average about $100. $100 a month. Yeah. Is that, it, is that money that you guys have? No, not really. really. About a mile up the hill is where the public water ends. Why did they have to stop right here and not go down the road if there are people who live down the road? It was my understanding they run out of funding. No more money. No more money. Cody Eastep is the McDowell County Commissioner, born and raised on this mountain. Would you say people are worrying about water here on a daily basis? Yes, ma'am, I would, yes. There's lots of people in this country that does not know what it is that takes it for granted to go over to their spigot and turn that water on. You never miss the water till the well goes dry. Cody, if they invited you to Capitol Hill, what would you tell Congress about your situation here? I would have to just say politely, hey, look, what day can you all come down in uh, southern McDowell County? We need a tour bus to bring a whole bunch of you people down there. Just bring them in. And plan on staying now. The underlying causes of the water challenges here, fueled by economic decline, may be unique, but the struggle is not. At least 2.2 million Americans live without basic access to safe drinking water and sanitation. We invest hundreds of millions of dollars solving this problem for people in countries halfway around the world. But the fact that we're not putting that same level of intention into solving this problem in our own backyard is, I think, shameful. George McGraw's organization, Dig Deep, is one of the only nonprofits dedicated entirely to domestic water infrastructure. Among their projects, helping the homeowners in Kyle Bottom connect to a new system built by the public utility. What was the water situation when you were a kid here in this house? We didn't have the problem. We was growing up, and I don't know what happened all of a sudden. I guess the pipes start corroding, crumbling, not replaced. Elizabeth Mason spent the whole pandemic without reliable, clean water. Soon, she is oh, going right. to get it. Imagine for a moment that day when your pipes get turned on and you're able to turn that faucet on. What's it going to feel like? <laughs> Yay, <Yeah>. Excitement. <laughs> because when you don't have water, water is everything. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, McDowell County, West Virginia. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.